we're asked to sort the following units of measurement into two categories, US customary units and metric units. So these are just two different systems, and you'll get more and more familiar with them. Then indicate whether each unit measures length, weight, mass, or volume. So let's do the first. Let's see which of these are US customary units versus metric units. So the liter is a metric unit. A liter is a metric unit. You would use it in the metric system. A gallon is a US customary unit. We've been dealing with that. When you, if you fill your gasoline in Europe, you're going to be filling it in terms of liters. In the US, you're going to be filling it in terms of gallons. And we're going to talk about whether they're units of volume and whatnot in a little bit. Decigram, that is metric system. That is metric system. Metric system. In general, whenever you see these prefixes, deci, centi, kilo, you're dealing with the metric system. No one ever talks about a kilo pound. I guess you could, but no one really talks about it. Same thing, millimeter. This is metric system. The gram is metric system. Meter is metric system. The foot is the US, is a US customary unit. We'll talk about whether it's a distance or any of that in a little bit. Kilogram, once again, it is metric units. It is metric. Blue for metric, in case you haven't gotten what I'm doing here. Blue for metric, red for US customary units, or I guess magenta. Centiliter, that is metric. Centimeter, meters are metric. And notice we have the prefix in both cases. Centi means 100th. Cup, that is US customary units. You have to do that in the magenta. Cup, US customary units. Meter. That is the metric system. Meter is the metric system. Pound, US customary units. It's getting a little tedious. Inch, same thing. That's what we use in the US. Ounce, we use that in the US. And then the yard, we also use that in the US. Now, we've divided them up. All the magenta ones are used in the US. All of the blue ones are used really in the rest of the world, and actually some places in the US as well. I think a lot of the world is frustrated that the US doesn't that we're not all converted to this, because the metric system is actually a little bit more logical. It's easy to just figure out what it's saying. And we'll deal with that in more detail in the future. Now, the next thing we need to figure out is whether something is a measure of length, weight slash mass. And they're not exactly the same thing. Mass is how much of a substance you have. Weight is how much gra the force with which gravity is pulling on that mass. And it would change depending on what planet you're on. But in, you know, on Earth, they, they tend to be used interchangeably. So we'll use it roughly interchangeably here. And then you have volume, or how much space something takes up. So this is distance. This is you know moving in one dimension. This is how, well, mass is how much stuff there is. Weight is how much the force that that stuff is pulled on on a planet by gravity, or I guess a star anywhere. And volume is how much space does that stuff take up. Now, let's think about it. Liter, liter is volume. This right here is volume. How much space do you take up? Gallon is also volume. That's in the in the U.S. in in Europe or in the metric system, it would be liter. Decigram, gram. Gram is a unit of mass, is a unit of mass. So decigram just means one tenth of a gram. Millimeter, meter is a unit, meter right here, that is a unit of distance or of length, of length. Milli, meter, milli means one thousandth of a meter. Foot, that is also a unit of length. Kilogram, that just means 1,000 grams. Kilo means 1,000. Gram, we already said, is a unit of mass. Centiliter, that means 100th of a liter. Liter, we already figured out, is a unit of volume. Centimeter, we already figured out. Meter is a unit of length. Centimeter means 100th of a meter. So this is a unit of length. A unit of length. Cup, we've seen multiple times already. It is a unit of volume. How much space does something take up? Meter, that is length. I've seen it multiple times already. Pound, that is actually a unit of weight. That is a unit of weight. An inch is a unit of length. I think we're all familiar with it. An ounce is, when well, this you have to be careful here. If someone just says an ounce, that is 1 16th of a pound, it is a unit of weight. 
if it was written fluid ounce, then we'd be talking about 1 16th of a pint, and then it would be a unit of volume. But since it's just ounce, it's a unit of weight, 1 16th of a pound. And then finally, a yard is a unit of length. And we are done.